My real name is Danelle, but my skate name is Racy. My name is uh, Sophie Eliadis, and my derby name is The Hairy Fairy. There's two groups of five players from each team on the track at any one time and they play what's called a jam, which is sort of a um, time period up to two minutes before you switch on to another new group of five. So you've got four blockers on each team and you've got one jammer on each team. The jammers are wearing the stars and they're the point scorer. You as a blocker are trying to get your jammer through while stopping the other jammer and vice versa for the other team and the number of blockers that the jammer passes on the opposition team is the number of points they get. You have to pass the other skater's hips to get their point. There's certain things you can't do, you can't like headbutt someone, you can't punch someone, you can't kick someone, you can't trip someone, but you can do pretty much most types of hitting. I've had a sprained ankle which was surprisingly difficult to come back to, so nothing as yet really serious. I've caused some serious injuries though, I've caused a broken rib, two broken ribs, and I was involved in the breaking of an ankle, but I don't think it was my fault. It's kind of the only sport where there's roller derby and men's roller derby. The premier sport is for the women, and the men's is the secondary one, which I think it must be the only sport in the world where that's the case. And it's just, it's given women the right to be athletic and the right to be angry and the right to sort of get dirty you know it's given us our own space and where we can just be ourselves and we can let out that side of us where we have to usually hide it roller derby has had a huge impact in my life i was living back at home um, and my mum got ill and she had cancer um, and she died in the April and we'd started the team in February so I had two months where my mum was basically dying and it was so important to have something new and exciting and completely not to do with thinking. It's really about just being together and being knocked off your feet. And at the time I thought maybe this is temporary, maybe this is just what I need for now, but actually the support I got from everybody and the friends I've built up in that time have just become the best group of people I know. There's nothing quite like the community side of Derby. In Brighton it's great, but I think internationally it's just become this amazing movement of women just, just accepting each other and that's the best thing about it by far. Even when I started skating, I don't think even London were playing international teams at that point, so it wasn't really even on the radar for British roller derby as a whole. I didn't think we'd be playing teams from around the world. I thought we might play ourselves. I thought, wow, we could have two teams in Brighton, we could play each other. So, no, I had no idea. I really didn't think it was going to go this far. There's been talk of roller derby being at the Olympics. Personally, I don't want to see that happen, especially after what happened with the uh, Winter Olympics in Russia, um, with the whole um, you know LGBT thing. It's like that doesn't suit our sport. I don't think. I think we should just be happy with what we've achieved and grow it in our own way. We were watching the Paralympics and we were like, these people are incredible, and then we were like. Imagine if you broke your leg, or you, you know, you lost a leg, and we were like, we'd still skip. we'd find a way. I remember having this discussion years ago with someone saying, what would you do if your partner told you it's me or Derby? And I'd say, I'd tell them to get fucked and it's Derby. <laughs> <laughs>